Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how someone that's never or never would use cheat softwares would be a better judge whether or not someone else is using them. And if you enjoyed the video today and learned something new, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you're brand new, too stupid to navigate the YouTube search bar, double check, make sure you subscribe, with notifications on. Now we know recently there was a rather large shadow brand so to speak, in which a lot of streamers got false banned. It seems that if, according to Modern Warzone, that it's almost just a kind of a mistake, only affecting those who competed in the World Series of Warzone. Shoo! I thought all those guys were cheating for a minute. Hey, Jay girl, what are you doing on my rig? That's a man's rig. Well, look how it is if it's not the cheater himself. Good one. Making you what, the protector of professional cheaters? Ha, huh. you're just a cheater, man. Listen, man, I'm gonna keep doing me. I expect you to keep doing you. But before we part ways, I need to ask you something. <laughs> no, I can't get you on the whitelist. Whitelist? I thought you said that was a myth. It is, so I can't get you on it. Well, if it's a myth, then how did guys like Destroy send one tweet and get on Shadow Bend? Like I said, it's an issue that a lot of World Series of Warzone competitors had. And as always, when Activision and Raven see a mistake or a problem, they're super quick to rectify it with a proper solution. Okay, then why at the same time did a lot of these streamers with a lot less sub counts and followers than these larger streamers competing in the World Series of Warzone, why did they also receive shadow bans? Because they were cheating, duh. So by your logic, anyone that's large enough to play in the World Series of Warzone isn't cheating, but those that may not have gotten an invite and are still growing, they definitely are affirmative well it's good to know people with 100k followers are incapable of cheating and i'm glad you defined that for our community and because of that you're a saint i think you should win youtuber of the century award well, well i thank you Hob. i really appreciate wait a minute that's you're being sarcastic yes and you're being a shill oh my that's that very nice you're like this close from being blocked on twitter man you're right, I'm sorry, but I also don't think it's very nice to sell false hopes and dreams and as one of my favorite youtubers would say Bro, you gotta stop lying to the kids, man. <gasps> I would never get caught lying to the kids. Look, Jay Goddess, I, I get it. You get paid for making this company's game look good, even at times that it sucks. I have a marketing background, too. You're not gonna fool me. Let let's forget about the fact that you have superpowers when it comes to leveling up your guns the minute they're released. The fact that you've never went out of your way to defend a streamer with less views than you, but you're always there at the drop of a hat, to defend somebody that has more viewers than you is proof within itself for a guy like me. That or there are zero cheaters with more than 100,000 followers. Which seems more plausible to you? Well, you know, technically, to be honest now. Shut the fuck up, it was rhetorical. Wow, dude, you're super mean right now. Super mean is, is knowing that there's tools out there for 20 to $30 a month that you can get anything and everything that you want from this game except for, you know, bug fixes, glitch fixes, a proper anti-cheat. Hell, I don't know, maybe more than 60 frames on a 2080 Super? But you, my friend, make it 1,000% apparent that people like that are just bad, that they should give all their hard-earned money to a company that can't even get the shit that you're buying the skins to work right. But you want to talk shit about people on the other side of that fence that are doing the same thing you're doing, making a paycheck. This is capitalism, baby. Now listen here, buddy. I don't have to like what you say. I don't have to like what you do. But you'll never find me going out of my way to cancel you or to silence you. The simple fact that you guys are going miles out of your way to, to, to defend people that should be able to defend themselves, to silence those of us that are making these issues come to the forefront of people's attention is proof that we're not wrong. You're wrong. If you had more than a two-inch pecker, you would completely ignore us. But you don't. The fact that you guys try to gaslight people by saying, well, this guy's a cheater. He's used every cheat in the book. He knows everything about cheats. Don't listen to anything he says about who is or who isn't cheating. Listen to me, a guy that has never cheated, never said, never will cheat. Listen to me. I, I, I'm the foremost expert on this. Thankfully, the majority of the people that watch your videos have single digit IQ levels. Because if they didn't, if we actually champion critical thinking these days, we would all see you for what you really are. And before you get into your whole spiel about how you bring a valuable service to the community, you were hand-selected. Anybody could do your job if they had Activision's earpiece, just like you do. Trust me, the fact that your videos define what is meta and then it conveniently shows up in the store exactly the way you built it is not lost on people like me. I don't have a problem with what you do on your channel, sir. It's what you do off of your channel, sir. If you think people like us are bad for the community, okay, we could be worse. 
Listen, man, I'm feeling super kind of uncomfortable here. Can we, like, uh, where's this fucking block button? I got to get rid of this guy. Listen, man, you can block me. You can do whatever the f you want, man. You're not going to get rid of us. We're here to stay. Some people, it takes longer than others to see through to the bullshit. But one thing always remains the same. Your bullshit will shine through. I don't know what to say other than I'm. this conversation makes me feel super uncomfortable. Good. That's the purpose of it. Sometimes people like you forget who you actually work for. Just because someone signs your check doesn't mean that's who you work for, sir. <laughs> Consider this a warning, sweetie. EM2, EM2, it's gonna be the EM2, I swear to God, EM2, just, just look at the bundles, it'll tell you everything you need to know, I'm useless, please don't hurt me. Hey YouTube, I appreciate you guys sticking around this long, I hope I made you guys laugh, I hope nobody took this too seriously, it's all fun, fun and games for me, but one last little thing I want to leave you guys with, if you ask a carpenter how to butcher a cow for the best cut of steak, he's probably not gonna have as an informative of an answer as a butcher would. If you know what I'm talking about... Drop it down in the comments. You guys know what it is. Hey, love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, sub notification bell on. And I'll catch you on the next one.